Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and I am back with my Ocarina of Time Let's Collect series. And I'm just going to show you because I'm in the ice cavern, like the middle of the ice cavern right now. Um, because there is one heart piece in here. And I just figured I'd show you guys my map. There's only one floor. It's a pretty linear uh, mini dungeon kind of a thing. Um, and that being said, uh, this is probably the uh, kind of the main room, I guess you could say. Um, it's the one with the giant spinning icicle blade thing where you have to collect the silver rupees. Um, and anyways, once you do that, you go, you know, continue through the next room and you can get some blue fire and, uh, burn down or, uh, cool off. I never really understood. I assume, I, if I understand it correctly, blue fire is, like, cold and the red ice is, like, hot ice. Uh, if that makes sense. Also, that's gonna fall. Um, so do be careful of that, I guess. And there's another one that just fell on me. I didn't move that time. And there's another one. And another one. Alright. Okay. Well, anyways, so this is the room you're going to be in. It's, I think... Okay, well, screw that. I'm not having any more fall on me. <sighs> okay. Are we done now? Okay, anyways. I... There's a gold skull tool in here, too, by the way. You should kind of start collecting those, as we will uh, be needing some of them. But there's a pretty easy... I guess cheat you could say that we can take pretty uh quite a bit of advantage of but i'll go over that later um that won't be till like probably the next video or two or something and i'm getting hit a lot um but anyways so you get into this little alcovey kind of a room um and there's a couple of keys in here which you may want to take out before they fly through the blue fire and become one of the most ridiculously annoying enemies in the game and uh all in all actually i'm gonna go ahead and uh, I swear those respawn very quickly. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy off, maybe. There we go. And get his token, maybe. And there we go. I think I have about like 15 now. I haven't really been collecting them quite as closely as I have in the past, just because I really want to show off the little uh, trick that you can use to get them all. But anyways, just fill up. Uh, hopefully you have at least one empty bottle. I mean you get one through the main game, so you should have one at the very least. Although, this entire little mini dungeon is a lot easier if you have, like, at least two. But anyways, though, all you have to do is, you can obviously see it right in that piece of uh, red ice. Uh, so once you melt it, or whatever you do with blue fire, uh, you get that heart piece. And there's actually two more right outside um, this place in the Zora's, uh, Zora's Fountain. So I will be getting that in a minute right after this so I'll be back in a moment all right so as you guys can see I am outside the ice cavern now and there's two hard pieces we can actually get in this little area I believe it's called Zora's uh, fountain if I'm not mistaken and the first one we we're just going to go basically kind of along the same path well okay not exactly that much close to the same uh, instead of going that way to the ice path I guess is what I'm trying to say we're gonna be going over this way where you can actually see that heart piece and I almost missed it uh, Nope, not quite. And I don't think we can just get on here, can we? Because that would be easy. Nope. We actually have to get on this one. And then wait for it to come around again. Like that. And then we just wait until it comes around to the, where the heart piece is. And that's another heart piece number 18 or 17 or 19 or I guess 19 maybe. I don't really know. But anyways, for the third and final heart piece of this episode, we're just going to go, I don't know, somewhere in this general direction. Can't get on there. Going to get hit by a rock. Uh, let's just go here. And make sure you have the Zora skin for this. Uh, if you want a nice, fancy, little free one, uh, you can get... Okay, I guess Octoroks can uh, home in on you. Didn't know that. But anyways... Um, if you want a free one, once you get uh, go through the ice cavern, just pick up an extra bottle of blue fire while you're in there, bring it back, and free the King Zora, and he will give you a free Zora's tunic, which is kind of nice. So, uh, that is that. And there is the other heart piece right down at the bottom of the fountain, uh, which is, I guess, technically you don't need the, a, um, the Zora's tunic for this. You just you do certainly need the iron boots. That's pretty much uh, non-negotiable. Um, you might be able to if you drop. I guess you can see it on my little mini map down there, right in this center area. You should probably be able to make it down all the way down and all the way back up in time before uh, you run out of air. 
But nonetheless, you can also pick up some rupees. I don't think they're I think they're all green. It looks like they're nothing really too special. I still have I still don't have a bigger wallet because I haven't been back to the the school toll house yet to get any bigger wallets. But nonetheless, maybe that's something I should invest in because I'm gonna probably need a lot of rupees for the uh, the archery course. But anyways, that is probably going to be the last episode I do, by the way. Anyways, um, that is going to be it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, I would appreciate you hitting that like button and also potentially subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so and you want to get notified of future content and stuff. And as always, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks again for watching.